Hello, welcome to another video installment for my podcast series. Today we're going to look at how to rewrite a quadratic function from standard form into vertex form. We recently studied how to take and complete, solve a quadratic equation by completing the square, and this uses a very related method, so that is why it is popping up for study here. Here is a function that is in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c, and I want to rewrite it into vertex form. Well, what is vertex form? Let's take a quick look once again to re-familiarize ourselves. It is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. There we are. So I want to rewrite it into that format. This all begins with getting a leading coefficient equal to 1. Right now it is 3, so I will divide both sides of my equation by 3. That leaves me with 1 third y on the left, and on the right I've got x squared plus 14x plus 5. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this c term, since I do not have a perfect square on the right. I'll get rid of this c terms just temporarily so it's not in my way. So I'm going to subtract the 5 from both sides. It's not really going anywhere. I just want it out of my way. Now I practice the method of completing the square on the right-hand side, just like we did with solving equations. I will take half of my b term, half of the 14, which is 7, and square that. I will stick that onto both sides. So the left-hand side becomes 1 third y minus 5 plus 7 squared equals x squared plus 14x plus 7 squared. The left-hand side, then, is a third y, and this is minus 5 plus 49, so that is plus 44, equals, and on the right-hand side, we have a perfect square, x plus 7 quantity squared. We're almost there, almost home. I'm going to take this and add, or sorry, subtract the 44 from both sides. So 1 third y equals x plus 7 quantity squared minus 44. And then multiply both sides by 3 so that my y term is by itself. So I've got y equals 3 times x plus 7 quantity squared minus 3 times my 44. Uh, and that the little bit of mental math there leaves me with y equals 3 times x minus 7 squared minus 132. There we go. That is now in standard form or sorry, in vertex form. We started in standard form, we ended in vertex form. There we are. I hope that helps. Uh, real quickly, again, get a leading coefficient equal to 1. Get rid of the old C term by moving it over. Complete the square. Then bring the stuff back over from the left and rewrite into vertex form. Hope that helps. Enjoy.